good morning. It is Thursday. That's that's all I know so far. It's Thursday. Um, I've only just regained some sort of feeling back into the tan, and it's feeling weird. It was actually like 10:30. I have been up uh, since six, but I'm tired. I'm buggered, and. My brain is just shutting down, like, next level. Olive is watching the Wiggles, Bossy is laying on me, and I need to get up and get dressed because I need to head to the shops before Olive goes down for a nap, and I need coffee. I need coffee, so bad help. So, Olive and I are in the parking lot of a shopping centre. Um, I need to grab a few things. I got my ass out of bed, and I am somewhat functional because I got caffeine. I'm home, Olive is in bed and I'm exhausted. She's been having so many tantrums and she's just like not in the mood for me. I am going through my documents and listing everything that I can to make sure I'm on top of things. Um, feeling quite a lot of pain today and just like really fatigue. And you know what? It would help if I had my glasses, but I don't know where they are. And now I've sat down, I don't want to get up and find them. Um, just watching RuPaul Drag Race, best moments. And uh, apparently Ty's finished, so hopefully he's home soon. And uh, I would love to say I'm going to go for a nap, but I've got like so much shit to do. I'm in the car and you're going to hear some noises because it is raining here, which is like all good and fine. Like I do not care. I am wearing multiple layers of fluffy socks because um, I have not been feeling my legs very much or my toes. So um, just like making sure that it's not because of the cold, um, it really has no excuse. It's just being an asshole, really. I've really kind of been struggling with being overwhelmed, which is like something that I expected to feel starting a course and then also being put into placement so early and then, you know, starting my other job. Um, I understand and I was expecting to feel overwhelmed. I feel like I'm just like on the brink, like consistently of bawling my eyes out, like screaming and having a mental breakdown and it's no one's fault. It's just that like, I think there's like a lot going on, fair, but like my brain is not processing it <laughs> and I cannot understand what is going on all the time and that is uh, agitating for me. Anyway, I'm doing some self-care and I've left Ty and Olive to eat Maltesers and probably watch anime knowing him and I'm gonna go visit my friend and hope that if I can sort of rant and rave and get it off my chest that I'm gonna feel um, a little bit better. Okay so I'm actually not too sure what time it is. I think that it's past midnight like I'm really not too sure um but I haven't even gotten my clothes ready for tomorrow yet or double checked that old school bag is packed I may be paranoid or like hella anxious but I'm pretty sure that I got followed on the way home realize that my blind is open and shits myself <laughs> yeah um I could be very much just being anxious and paranoid like 100% could be right but um this guy just like had his high beams on and then coming really close to me and then like going far away and then um just getting in my space he was not socially car distancing and then um he just like started following me and then i didn't even indicate i made really sharp turns did some dangerous driving and he would be behind me within a few seconds so i felt very uncomfortable about that um but again could be like hella paranoid and anxious but I sure as hell am not going to find out. Anyway, I'm going to do these few things that I need to do. I'm going to go for a shower and then hope to God that I actually wake up in time to go to work tomorrow morning. I'll see you then when I look hopefully less shit. Just wanted to add in real quick that I woke up this morning from a dream of me running between streets that I don't know, trying to get away from a car. 100% probably not connected. Or maybe that's why I did feel paranoid. But just, just wanted to put it out there. Okay, so it is a Friday and I am currently walking towards 7-Eleven to go grab some lunch. My wrist is hurting, my neck and my shoulders are hurting, but I really enjoy being at work, so yeah. I'm going to go grab some vegan sandwiches. They're not that great, but it's okay. I got all the 
moments. So it is Friday night. I've just come home from work. It's really, really, really late. Um, it's not like really late, but like when I have to get the ball rolling for everyone to be in bed and happy, it's like. Olive is up and it is way past her normal bedtime, but because she didn't nap until so much later in the day, we're keeping her up a little bit because I need her to sleep through the night and not wake me up at 6am. It has been very full on in this household and my body is absolutely feeling it. I am in so much overall body pain, like I'm functional, don't get me wrong, but like everything has some sort of issue with it and I'm not appreciating that. Um, but. I need to really not be overwhelmed because it's going to be very similar to this for a while. So I am going to work out what I need to do tomorrow. I think if every day has a plan and I'm on top of that, that'll be good. I think the other problem is, is like, I really haven't had like a break. And uh, even though today is meant to be my break, I've worked, you know, for the majority of the day. And then we're having friends come over and then all's not going home till later. So like I, like my me time will probably be like 10 minutes before I go to bed where I try and watch Canada Drag Race and then I knock it out. Like, moral of the story, I really need to get together with my work-life balance. Not even work-life balance, like work-life, study, parenting, and fibromyalgia and relationship balance. <laughs> need to get that in check. Um, I'm gonna sit down and write a plan out for tomorrow. Anything that I need to do, anything that is super important, make sure all of our bills are up to date and paid and yeah. Also, fun little thing that I got to note. I got a little uh, message from my phone provider and um, they're still claiming that I have quite a bit of debt and was asking for it today. So, maybe that story is actually not done, hey? Yeah, not ecstatic about it. Good evening, and guess who's feeling super insecure about herself today? To the point where she wasn't going to even film my outro. She was just going to ya yeet and leave it the way it was. <laughs> Me. It is 9 o'clock at night on sad day. I legitimately just have to put this onto my computer and then I can export and upload this to YouTube. It has been a shitty ass fucking time. <laughs> it has been a very interesting time at the moment and I feel like I maybe not be dealing with it the best and I definitely need to get my head around it. What I tried this week didn't work. But that doesn't mean the routine and the schedule that I try next week won't. So I definitely like where every avenue of my life is going at the moment. I just need to figure out a way for it all to happen at once. And, you know, also be able to have time to be a human being, you know. So on Thursday, Oliver and I went to the shops. We did a heap of other stuff. And then I went and saw my friend, which was really good. Yesterday, I dropped her off at kindy. I went to work all day, came home really late. And then we had friends over, which was <laughs> good. <laughs> um, I'm really enjoying having the company of friends at the moment um, because when I'm just studying, all I think about is study. And when I'm in a lot of pain, all I think about is pain. And blah, 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 blah. So it's sort of um, when my brain is overthinking, overwhelmed and over-focusing, being able to talk to other people uh, is really good at just like smashing that down and letting me <laughs> kind of get out of it for a minute. Anyway, this is probably the last video that's ever going to be filmed on this quality. I don't know if the next videos are going to be better or worse, but I'm able to upgrade my phone on Tuesday and I very much plan to do so. So I currently have an S10, but I'm looking at getting the iPhone and not because I like iPhone, but because I want the watch. So and it also works out technically cheaper. <coughs> Anyway, that's something exciting coming up. I had a lot on today. I have quite a lot on tomorrow. And then next week is going to be another fight. Um, so I'm taking those moments. And I need to also think to incorporate, um, you know, some peace and quiet in there. And some wine. A lot of freaking wine. All jokes aside, I hope that when you're watching this, you are doing well. Maybe I am the little noise in the background while you're doing something that makes you happy. Oh my god. My screen door just closed and I fucking thought I was going to die. Anyway, I hope that you're well. I hope that you are living the dream. And I hope that you are safe and just having some peace and quiet and self-care if you will. 
I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can also follow me on social media. That is all linked below. If you didn't enjoy this video, I am so sorry. And um, Bailey Sarian, she's great. You should go watch her instead. I will catch you on Tuesday because I have a video coming out. I don't know if it's going to make sense or be any good at all, but it's something that I think I'm going to put out for myself anyway. It's just about me studying, so you don't have to watch that, but it's going to be there, I'm pretty sure. I also have my weekly vlog coming out on Saturday, so make sure you turn the notification bell on for that. But other than that, I'll catch you the next time that I can be bothered. Good night. Coming to get you.